my good videos start in my car. Okay, but anyways, so today I'm gonna be doing like a few things. I'm kind of running errands, but not really running errands. I'm more of doing just like a birthday get ready with me. Um, so right now I'm on my way to my nail appointment. I look a hot ass mess. And because the lady was rushing me, so I didn't have an appointment because they don't have a website. So I had to call them and I was like, uh, when are you guys available? She said right now. So I was like, okay, I left 15 minutes away. She was like, okay, we'll see you in 15 minutes. And I was like, girl, like I need to get ready. Like I literally woke up and walked out the door pretty much. I didn't even brush my teeth this morning. Mm, I don't know if I should have told y'all that, but it's whatever. But yeah, so here I am. I'm on my way to my nail appointment. I don't know if they'll let me record. I'll ask, but yeah. Um, and then I have some things to do later on. Mm, yeah, it'll be fun though. It'll be okay. I would start this video off with where have I been, but that's just pointless and we're gonna get into the video. So right now I'm at Target. Um, I'm gonna get a few things from Target. Um, not for my birthday because my birthday's tomorrow, um, but I'm really just doing nothing for my birthday, just keeping it simple. I'm probably gonna go out to dinner, but like nothing fancy or anything like that. Okay, it's the way I was at Target. Um, Target just wasn't my place and the line was really long. I don't know why the line was on. It's a freaking weekday. Certain people be at work. Anyways, but yeah, um, it was just weird in there. And I used to work there. The vibe was weird. It was so quiet in there. So guess where I'm at? Walmart. So I'm at Walmart right now. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get the stuff that I couldn't get at Target at Walmart. So hopefully this is a little better. <laughs> Let's go. unboxing because my parents am I at this on here? No. My parents sent me something in the mail because they're not here for my birthday but that's okay. So let's see what it is. Watch it be like a speaker. It's probably gonna be a speaker. How did I know? <laughs> Guys, oh my gosh and it's a white too. Okay so my dad got me this because I always use his speakers. He has two and I always use both of them. Um, and one's supposed to be in the gym, but I just take that one. But yeah, he sent me this one because I was still there. Well, my dad has two because my sister got him one and he bought himself one. He bought himself this one, but it's in black or kind of like a gray. But yeah, I'm gonna go put this in my room and then I'm gonna go get ready to go to the mall or something. I really don't know. I think I just wanna go somewhere and sit in the car. What really bothers me guys is my skin <laughs> the pigmentation of my skin especially right here well let me tell you about right here so my skin is darker right here than like the rest of my face it's kind of like a, a light birthmark you probably can't see it but anyways i have like a light a light spot right here because when i was a kid i went to this camp and this girl had like this contagious uh, I don't it wasn't a disease but like had this contagious infection on her skin and she didn't tell anybody and nobody knew what it was but I went home and at first it started as like a little scab and like I would pick at it and then it started like it spread all over my face like it was right here it was everywhere on my face and then I think I had it on my arm too but it was pretty nasty so my mom had to call her mom and be like yo what is this and then like I had to go to the doctor get some some creams ointments all the other stuff it was a whole lot of a whole lot of but 
yeah now i have like a dark spot on my face right here you can kind of see it but yeah it looks like i have a big birthmark pretty much on my face um and i don't really wear makeup or anything to cover it up but yeah and then i also have just like these bumps on my skin i don't know if that's from birth control or what but yeah my skin right now is it's 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 thriving actually i'm debating if i want to go in and get some food i really don't know what i want to do i'm just kind of sitting here at the moment um i might go into forever 21 because i need my necklace so i bought this necklace at forever 21 too but i have another necklace and it has like a cross on it and i don't know why but it's literally just my favorite necklace and something always happens to this necklace like the last time i had this necklace um what was i doing Oh, um, I was working for Dick's Sporting Goods. By the way, Dick's Sporting Goods fired me. We'll get into that in a minute. But um, I was working for Dick's Sporting Goods and like we were trying to clean out our store because we moved stores and like we needed someone to clean it up. So we were there. Anyways, but yeah, I put it in my pocket because we were going to work. And then like, I guess I took my phone out, my keys out, something. And it fell. So I have yet to see that bracelet or that necklace. And I lost another necklace with that. I was pretty heartbroken by that, but it's okay. But then I bought me a new one and then I was in a rush somewhere, but I always wear this necklace everywhere I go. So no matter if I'm late or something, I'm going to take the necklace with me. So I took it with me and I put it in my pocket and then, um, yeah, I went to go take it out of my pocket and I had a big knot on it. So now I just don't, I don't wear it, but yeah. Hmm. Anyways, if I could take the knot out of the necklace, it'll be perfectly fine, but the knot is so small. So yeah, I don't know, but yeah i think i'll just buy a new one i really don't know i'm going to new york in like two weeks i think so that'll be fun but i also i don't know they say it's still cold in new york like it literally just snowed like a week ago um i hate snow so i hope the weather is semi-decent <laughs> um it should be may so i'm giving it a few weeks to heat up but yeah i'm gonna go to new york for a few a few days I um, also vlogged that with my new camera. I'm so excited, guys. I talked briefly in my video. I don't know if I'll edit the clip in or out, but I talked briefly while I was filming yesterday about how I needed a new SD card because I got a new camera. Well, the camera that I'm getting is the Canon Mark, the Canon Mark II. Um, a lot of YouTubers have it, and I know a lot of people are like, don't get the equipment until uh, you get famous, you don't want to waste your money, YouTube's not for anyone. Well, first of all, I do YouTube for myself, not because I want to get famous. And to be honest, I mean, fame is good, but I feel like when you get famous, you'll be tired of being famous. Um, and I, that's not really something that I want, so I'm not rushing to be famous, but I mean, if it happens, it happens, you can't really control it. But anyways, yeah, so I bought a new camera anyway. I bought it for myself as like a early birthday gift or whatever, because I bought it like a few days ago actually it'll be here either monday or sometime this weekend but i'm so excited about this camera it has like a flip up screen so like i can see what i'm looking at the camera that i have right now i can only see when i'm editing so basically if i see or mess up or like let's say my hair is not right a piece of it is sticking up or something i can't see that until i go to edit it and then nine times out of ten i won't use that clip also the quality of the camera is better so instead of my stuff being pixelated because i know sometimes when i update or upload especially on my phone it can be pixelated you have to go in yourself and change the quality of it um a lot of people asked me that actually because they were like why are your videos so blocky um you have to change the quality of it yourself on like the quality setting the quality of it is 1080 sorry it's not 4k but yeah close enough to it um but yeah so i'm pretty excited about this new camera um hopefully i'll put out more content i really just took a break from youtube just to do mental health stuff get myself together school work yeah it was a whole it was a whole lot i have been drowning myself in work just because i would like to get this new car um and hopefully i had to push it back because realistically i mean i mm, i had a little bit of a spending issue i kind of still do i literally just dropped a bag on this camera for those who don't know and are new to my channel hi subscribe um i'm going to be purchasing my car in full so obviously that means no financing um i just don't want to finance a car that's just a lot of unnecessary money and if you get a used car like with low miles I, I think that's so much better than buying a brand new car or buying like a finance car where you have to pay it off for years and years and years and years for some people but um yeah so anyways i'm going to the dealership or wherever i buy a car at and i'm gonna pay it off in full my goal for this car um i'm looking at no more than twelve thousand dollars i just have so many excuses of why i spent so much money but yeah so we're still going we're still trying for this car 
Um, but yeah, I'm excited for when I get it. The top brands that I want to stay with are Toyota, Hyundai, or Honda. Um, I think, or Nissan, I don't really know. I'm kind of iffy because I don't really like Nissan cars, but I mean, if there's a good looking Nissan car, I'll get it. But uh, those are the top three brands that I want to stay with. I'm actually at the mall right now that I used to work at where Dick's Sporting Goods fired me. The Dick's Sporting Goods, I should fight them because they didn't even call me to let me know that I was being fired. They literally sent me an email saying, oh, we're so sorry to see you leave our company. Fill out this survey. Like, mm. Actually, I'm quite happy that I'm like they fired me. Not fired me because I really could have left, but like, I don't know. I just hated working there, honestly. They promote themselves at like such a great company. Like, and they just gave us a bonus. Not a bonus, but like an extra pay. Um, like the day after I got fired. So, yeah. I don't know. I hated working at Dick's Sporting Goods. So now I still work at Whole Foods. I'm getting a new job, hopefully. I'm fingers crossed because I had my interview like a week ago a week and a half ago um but she told me that i needed more availability and since i'm still in school right now um and i have finals next week um i told her i would call her back then because that's when my availability my availability opens up and since i have classes in the middle of the week it wasn't gonna work so um, i'm gonna start working for them hopefully if I, the job is still available i still want to work for them but it's like something security and i guess law enforcement is something that i want to do like as a career wise not exactly but it's like a start. I feel like it's a start to being somewhere in the direction that I want to go. I've been in the car for like 30 minutes now, not doing anything. Um, I'm just kind of sitting here, to be honest. Um, I'm about to go home, though, and do absolutely nothing. Probably just sit on the couch, get myself ready or something like that. I don't really know, but yeah. Guys, I am so excited. You know what just arrived? My camera. I'm so excited. And I'm sorry I didn't finish recording last night or yesterday. Um, I really didn't do anything for my birthday. I just went out to dinner and I was going to record in the Cheesecake Factory, but it's already low lighting in there anyways. So it's not like you really would have seen anything. And they are already making me frustrated because they said it was like a 30 minute wait. So we put our name down and then because they don't do reservations. So we put our name down and then she was like, like we, we went in there and it had been like a whole hour. So we were like, yo, where's our table at? So then like they like were whispering something. I don't know. But then they were like, okay, just one minute, ma'am. So then they finally got us the table. Then we get to the table and there's like stuff on the table, like sticky stuff, like, um, no, it, no. It was just trash and the food was, my experience at the Cheesecake Factory was not good. But yeah, so besides that, my camera just came. I am so excited about this camera, but I need something to open it. I'm about to use this bobby pin right quick. Mm. And I also just got off work, so that's why I have this Amazon stuff on. I'll start. They, okay, my mailman is getting pretty lazy because he literally, like, stuffed it in the mailbox. Like, the box is this big, and our mailbox is not that big. It's like a regular mailbox. And he stuffed it in there, so, like, I had to, these trying to get, it didn't go that well, but, guys, it's here. Like the screen, this is my favorite part about it. Is this? Ah! I'm sorry, I'm so excited for this camera. Like, vlogs, oh, I'm so excited because I can see what I'm looking at. Like, with my other camera, where is my other camera? I will show you guys the difference. So, here's my other camera this one's Sony, and then this one's Canon. So, this is just like the size different. They're pretty much the same size, if we're being honest. Back is just a little bit bigger, obviously, the screen display is a little bit bigger. Um, this one kind of goes all the way up to the edge, and this one doesn't, but, okay, anyways, that's not this type of video. Um, I'm just going to end this video here. Um, it's probably really short. I don't really know what I'll include all in this video, but, yeah, your girl is 19 now. Yesterday, like I said, my birthday was regular, like, nothing special to it. I don't really do anything. At the, I'm at the age where, like, birthdays, you don't really get celebrated, you don't really get gifts, you don't really get anything. But yeah, anyways, yeah, um, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, new videos coming, better vlogs, better quality coming. Thank you guys so much.